हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक क्लास इलेवन टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अवर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर एट चैप्टर एट इज सिंपल क्वेरीज इन एस क्यू एल ओके लास्ट टाइम आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट स्कूल डेटाबेस एंड स्टूडेंट टेबल्स एंड मार्क्स टेबल ओके बट टुडे आई एम कंटिन्यू न्यू टॉपिक सिंपल क्वेरीज इन एस क्यू एल एस क्यू एल मीन्स स्ट्रक्चर्ड क्वेरी लैंग्वेज ओके सपोज वी हैव ए टेबल एंड वी विल सेलेक्ट पर्टिकुलर डेटा अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर चॉइस बट बिफोर बिकॉज एस क्यू एल आल्सो ए लैंग्वेज एस क्यू एल आल्सो ए डी बी एम एस लैंग्वेज सो हियर आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस न्यू थिंग सो माई एस क्यू एल बेसिक एलिमेंट्स आर ओके सो लिटरल्स just like a python language my skill also have a literals okay me we can see in our language a b c d so it refers to a fixed data value suppose text suppose we want to store a student name so we can say text so ram and mohan okay uh, in single quotes we can use numerical literals okay Uh, so we can say uh, 22 18 19 7 integer literals okay 17 20 real literals we can use decimal point okay so 17.5 20.8 so in this real point we can use decimal point so our data compose of decimal points integer values and text textual data okay students now next thing is data types okay so we can uh, categorize our data numeric form date and time form and string form numeric form we can say integer so sql my sql use maximum 11 digits numerical value 11 digits numerical value for example roll number integer means roll number is a column name and in this column name we can store numerical value for each student maximum we can use 11 digit okay students now suppose you want to store decimal point data so we can use decimal comma m comma d m means we can say total length d means number of decimals value suppose here i am giving one example suppose salary salary is our column salary is our column so i want to store employee salary but here structure is 7 comma 2 7 means 7 means total length so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we can say including dot total digits we can say 7 comma 2 including 7 di digit uh, after decimal point 2 digits here 2 means after decimal point 2 digits so 7 means total digits including dot so we can say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ok okay but in this seven digit uh, last after dot 2 digits so we can say 7 comma 2 other numerical type we can use tiny int small int suppose you want to store age okay age is very small data so we can use tiny int small int okay medium int big int suppose you have a very long value so we can use big int float and double we can also use to store our scientific values okay so mysql support this kind of data also but suppose you want to store date of birth date of joining so mysql provide date and time data type mysql provide date and data type so what is the date format here first we store year then we can use days then we can use month then we can use day okay for example date of birth this is our column name date so we can first we store year 1992 okay this is our year part days 02 this is our month part and days 25 so this is our day part so in mysql we directly use day okay with the help of date data type 
now so here last data type is string suppose you want to store male and female so in uh, male and female this is a name this is a words this is a text so we can use character data type in character we can use total number of letters so here i am using gender gender is our column name in every gender uh, maximum we can use character in bracket 6 so you can see 1 2 3 4 so male so uh, first student male so maximum 6 digit so below 6 digit we can store male now next is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so exactly 6 so next student store female so character 6 we can use to store our name uh, gender etc our data now next is where character m where character m so character data is responsible to store the string data so where character we can also use where character we can also use okay but it is is save our memory it does not save our memory it save our memory we will discuss later for example ct where character 20 okay so in ct column the maximum uh, string character we can hold 20 letters for particular each student so Jaipur, Jamnagar, so we can store in city column, Jaipur and Jamnagar uh, for every student we can store. Okay students, so uh, in date and time, other date and time we can store date time data, time stamp data, time and year. Okay, so we can store this type of data also, SQL provide this type of data type and uh, other string data type we can use, character where character we can use but other b lobe or text b lobe means binary large object suppose you want to store uh, a student photographs okay or uh, 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 pdf file document excel file so we can store this type of data also so we can use b lobe or text so b lobe means binary large object to store student photographs it is we can store okay so SQL provide below data type we can use okay so there are different kind of data types numerical date and time and string broadly we can use okay there is a new thing is null okay so here you can see null null means if a column in a row has no value then column is said to be a null any arithmetic expression containing a null always equal to null for any missing or unknown information we can use null suppose uh, a mobile number when a student uh, fill admission form but uh, that time mobile number is not available so we can use n u double l okay null means empty value okay so any uh, missing or unknown information in a column we can use uh, null n u double l okay when you uh, uh, perform arithmetic operation to null value so it always give null okay now next thing is comment okay so we uh, we can also use comment in mysql also just like a python but in mysql we can also use comment so a comment is a text that is not executed okay comment is never executed in programming it is only for documentation purpose so in mysql suppose you want to use multiple lines so we can use slash star and star slash okay all line we can put inside slash star star slash so this line will not execute this is we can say multiple line comment single line comment we can use so two time we can use dash so this is a single line comment so this line will not execute this but before we can use two time dash for single line comment and single line we can also use hash symbol and this hash symbol will al already use in our python language and this hash also use in mysql this is a single line comment okay students so here i am giving one example suppose for example select ename comma cell comma job comma log so here ename cell job log this is our column names okay select command used to display our data but here you can see slash star and star slash so this select all employees whose compensation is greater than 300 so these two line will not execute because this is our multi line multiple line comment 
according to this from EMPL comma DEPT okay so here EMPL and DEPT your table name we will discuss later and where EMPL dot department number is equal to DEP dot department number okay so this is your table name and this is your column name this is your table name this is your column name but department number department number we can join this is we can say primary key we can say foreign key okay so we will discuss later but here main concern is here you can see joining two tables so before here i am using hash so we can say this is our single line command and single line command we can also use two time days and salary greater than 300 so we can say this condition is testing whether salary is more than 300 or not okay so we can use this condition when apply but here main concern is two time days we can use for our single line command one time hash we can use single line command and slash star star slash we can use our multiple line command okay students so today i am discussing about different kind of data types of mysql and comments in our mysql hope you understand this thing thank you so much